Now, as you're setting up your business page, let's talk about the about section. And you see, this video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. I'm in a page that has nothing in it. It's a dummy page, kind of a skeleton test. It has nothing in it, but still you're able to create this about section. And in the about section, there are some important fields. Obviously, you can create your username here. So you can put your brand here and that will make it to the URL of your website. And that will become the URL of your page. I'll give you an example here. I named it group hiking page. I'm going to say create username. And you see that it tells you that people can actually go to facebook.me slash group hiking page, which is what I gave it. Then what you want to do is of course, add your website. That's very important. There are going to be some fields like menu, obviously, obviously if you don't have a restaurant, don't fill out your menu, but all the other things you want to go through and see where you can add keywords add descriptions, add links to your website. So for example, this thing, add Impressum, most people don't know what that might be. So you would say add Impressum and it explains that some countries, Austria, Germany, Switzerland require this. Now, obviously most students in this course are not in those countries, but guess what? You can add a description of your business and a link to your site, which gives a little tiny boost to your Facebook pages SEO, but also your website's SEO that you're linking to. And of course, and of course, most importantly, don't forget about the URL here. Then what you want to do is create your story, tell people about your business. This is something you'd write. It's kind of a compelling story that, you know, why you started your business and your passion and so on and so on. Then very importantly, you want to edit your about. This is where you get to place keywords. These keywords will actually help you rank in Google search. If people look up your brand, the limit here is 255 characters. So you cannot write a lot, but you can write enough to add your keywords and a good description. And I know that it can be a little confusing about which field should you add or not. So what you'd want to do is edit page info. See on top, it actually has a more user-friendly interface and you can go through it and see what you need to add. And it has more information too, like your open hours. It's just easier. So you'd go through all this and fill everything out. And once you're done, I just want to show you the finished result. I'm now browsing Facebook as I'm somebody else. I'm not logged in. And you see, you have your description here with keywords and one link, two links, and people can see that right away. And I'm not somebody who liked this page yet, right? So if I'm deciding, should I engage? Should I like it? This description also gives you a great chance to compel them to like your page and stick around and get them to be interested. And one quick note, everywhere we've gone, you see Facebook has this button promote. It's everywhere. You might've noticed it and you might be urged to promote. Oh yeah, I want to promote. Actually, this is going to help you run ads and it will help to set up your ads faster, but you should never set up your ads from here. You should do it through the Facebook business manager and ad manager. That's where you'll have a more robust interface to set up ads. So don't use this just yet. Right now, we're just setting up your page.